I would certainly not advise to avoid taking or starting carbidopa levodopa with the fear of developing dyskinesias. The reason for that is because carbidopa levodopa continues to be, to this date, the best and most effective medications for your medication for your uh, symptoms. But we also have very good therapies and options for you if you start having troublesome dyskinesias. So, and, and I say troublesome because a lot of the times the patients don't even notice that they have dyskinesias. And you might be a little, you know, moving around a little bit, but you may not notice it. Your friends, your spouse, your family might notice it, but um, it does not affect your quality of life. Only when they become troublesome, that's when we need to start thinking about what can we do? How can we adjust your medication? There's other medication we can add, or is it time to move on to, to move to deep brain stimulation?